Welcome back for day 22 of my six mark challenge for AQA GCSE Science. In the run up to the exams, Monday to Saturday, I'm posting a new video each day with a six mark question so that you can practice how to answer them. You can find a link in the description below to each week's questions, and also you can access all of the previous videos via the playlist. Today's question comes from the homeostasis topic of GCSE Biology Paper 2. Before you write your answer, don't forget, this is not an essay question, even if it looks like one, so you don't get credit for writing in paragraphs or even full sentences. In fact, it's a much better idea to lay your answer out with bullet points or a numbered list. And you should try to include just one credit worthy idea per bullet point, because this makes it really easy for your examiner to follow your train of thought and to give you credit for your ideas. Now, if you haven't done so already, pause the video and give yourself six minutes for this six mark question. The first thing I notice is that the question hasn't actually stated that this is a reflex response. So I think it's worth writing that down, even though it's asking me about processes rather than the name of the whole event, because if nothing else, it shows the examiner that I know what I'm talking about. Now, the first key thing that happens is that we have cells that can detect a stimulus, and we know that the proper terminology for that is receptors. So there are some receptors in the ear and they detect the sound. And I'm just going to identify that that is the stimulus, even though in the question it talks about the stimulus of the siren. It's just good to make it clear that I know what that means. Then that is going to be passed on as an electrical impulse and that's carried to the brain. And this happens by the sensory neuron. So we've got our three kinds of neuron and I'm going to name each one. Then at the end of that neuron, we have that little gap between two neurons, which is called the synapse. And at that synapse, there's a chemical called a neurotransmitter, which diffuses across the synapse to pass on the signal to the next neuron, which of course is the relay neuron. Then we have one more kind of neuron, which is the motor neuron, and that is going to pass the signal from the relay neuron to the effector. And effectors we know can be glands or muscles, but in this instance where a person is jumping, it's going to be a muscle, although I suppose we could also talk about the impact on his adrenal glands. And what's the muscle going to do in response? Well, it's going to contract. For tomorrow's chemistry question, we're looking at the chemistry of the Earth's atmosphere. Don't forget that you can find a link in the description below to all of this week's questions and also the playlist with all of the previous videos in case you've missed any of them. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again tomorrow for day 23 of the Six Mark Challenge. If you found this video useful, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more GCC Science revision videos coming soon.